back on with the the list videos again. This time it is five of the biggest money making scams parts edition. Previously I did money making schemes with like workshops and just different things that they utilize to get a little bit of extra money here and there. This time I'm gonna flip it and put it on to different parts and products. The company's so called cool, do things that they're just a money making scheme. Air filters. Now, before you jump down my throat and go, hang on a second, you've got you've got a uni filter in your car. That didn't what 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 what's going on? Nah. What I'm talking about is most of performance air filters. So I'm gonna name drop a little bit, but um KN, money making scheme. There's a lot of them like that. The um they're like a cloth sort of uh, material. They're just a money-making scheme and they're actually worse off for your engine than a standard paper filter. They are definitely overpriced and not that effective. So if you really want to uh, risk it and potentially damage your engine, run one of those in your car, but they are a money-making scheme. They do not give you any more power. They do not give you really any more benefit apart from let dust through to uh, scratch the side of your bullets. So if you want to be rebuilding your motor, go ahead. Um, but other than that, give that a miss. Uni filters and things along those lines, on the other hand, the foam oil filters, they have a time and a place. Um, in my case, it collects the dust. Some people argue contrary to that, but I find that my catches of dust haven't had an issue. I know a lot of play of other people that have those, they catch dust, all that sort of stuff. In the performance side, I don't really know because I don't really look at it as a performance modification. So I know they do it for a great range of vehicles. But yes, what I'm getting at here is the those cloth, I think they're like a cloth um, sort of material and they, don't, they do not work. They let more stuff through than what they stop. So yes, performance air filters, most of them, money making scheme. Performance oil filters. Now I've seen this a lot. People get the performance oil filter and they put it on their car because they think it's just gonna blow the side out of the oil filter or it's got a high pressure release valve and all this sort of stuff. But most of the time, high performance oil filters are just a standard filter, maybe with a welded nut on the back that you can put a little bit of race tie wire or something through it to stop it undoing, and that's about it. There's there's not too much difference. If you're running it in a conventional car, just a normal daily driver, or you've got your 99 Honda Civic and you want to make it go quicker, putting a performance oil filter is going to do nothing. So that is definitely a performance scam or grab money making scheme whatever you want to call it stay away from them performance engine oils now let me clarify on this there's a certain company out there that uh say they've got intelligent molecules in their, in their engine oil and it clings to stuff <laughs> you can piece it together i'm not saying the company but let's just say that is a marketing sort of scam um yes so there is certain performance engine oils that do not do what they claim and they are classed as a money marketing well it's not a money making scheme it's more of a marketing sort of ploy um because they're not lying to you it is an engine oil and it does work as an engine oil it's just the little intelligent stuff that they add on the back to make it you know that it's better than every other engine oil mm -mm. sorry it's not <laughs> but yes that is another marketing scam or money making scam scheme whatever you want to class it as but yes i would air caution to that the air diffusers right the there's a lot of them so you have the ones that go on the the skirting under your bumper you know to create the downforce on your Mitsubishi Lancer going 80 kilometers an hour down the road, you know, you need that downforce. And the ones that go on the back window, it's like a double 3M adhesive, you know, you stick it on there. 
make it look like a rally car, but they are a money making scheme or scam. So yes, they do make your car look appealing, like better visually appealing if you're going for that look, should I say. Um, some of the skirting looks great. I've seen it used on some cars and it's like, yeah, it gives a good stance and stuff, but it is not, it does not give you any more downforce really. Uh, not at the speed you're going to be doing anyway, unless you're exceeding the, breaking the law like massively. Doing 80 or 100 kilometers an hour, it's, yeah, but you don't really get that much of a difference and it's not going to be that noticeable. You're better off just sitting behind a truck and getting the tow. You'll go faster. <laughs> now, th this is going to be hard to explain, but would be <laughs> the fuel magnetizers. Now, this, oh, this cracked me up when this came out. It was a magnet that you used to put on uh, your fuel lines. I remember a magazine wrote about it and it would, apparently it would magnetize the fuel to turn it into different smaller molecules. So it injected a lot better and gave you a clean crisp burn and therefore gave you like 200 rear wheel kilowatts, just easy. I'm being sarcastic, but that is actually a product that they tried to sell alongside uh, what it was called a hot earth system. So a hot earth system was a kit they would sell that had different um, different cables and man, people fell for this like hand over fist. It does have a use, but it's, it, yeah, it's a, a, a scam. <laughs> What they would do is you connect it from your battery terminal, so your earth terminal, and you'd run one to the chassis, and then you'd run one to the um, to the engine block, and then one, and it would do like this chain sort of link. Just do different things, and you'd upgrade your whole, every earth, pretty much, to this big, thick earth cable. And you'd make it up yourself easy, but they used to sell this kit. that It would be a hot earth kit for LS. Commodore or a BA Falcon or something along those lines and it would give you 20 kilowatts of the rear wheels. Easy! Don't know how the hell they came across this or why they even said this, but that was a big part scam, like massive part scam. The fuel magnetizers and the, the, um, the, yeah, that hot earth system, which, oh, I can't believe they even, they even tried that, but would it make a difference, the hot earth system? It would give you a good earth on your car, but what they were claiming is it gave better signals to your ECU and you just you unlock this unleashed power that just wasn't accessible. But I, I yeah, <laughs> I just laugh at it. And the fuel magnetizer, I had um, a fair few cars come into the workshop and stuff at the time that had those, and you know what they did? They worked really well at catching metal filings and particles within the fuel and actually block the fuel line off. So yeah, they, they were fantastic at stopping your car. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll leave you with that. But um, if you think of any, shoot them down in the comment section. Uh, there's been plenty over the years, plenty, plenty. I remember the whole Peter Brock and the, the polarizer with the crystals and you put them in your console or your car and apparently made you race better. So. There's a lot of different things, but um, yes. So there's a lot of different scams out there and, and different money grab schemes, but yeah. Leave yours down in the comment section. Until next time guys, take care.